Hello Wanderers, welcome back to my channel. I am Amy Zalmer and today I'm going to share with you something I've been working on. If you've been following me since I started this uh, RV journey, I've been struggling with getting a towel rack installed in the RV bathroom. Something seemingly simple, right? But when you have vinyl walls that don't have anything behind them, they're, they're super, super thin walls and there's nothing behind it to like screw into, um, there is a, there's a real challenge in getting something hung. Um, and especially when it's something that can't just go on a command hook, um, you know, like a, like something that kind of hangs can go on a command hook. So share with me in my journey today as uh, we experiment with different ways of getting this stinking towel hook hung up. But spoiler alert, uh, we do figure it out at the end of this video. So be sure to watch all the way through. Comment below if you have any other suggestions um, on how we could have done this or things that have worked for you. Um, and be sure to let me know. I'm I'm super curious. Um, other ways, other creative ways that you guys have hung similar things up in your bathroom. So my dear friend Tracy has come over today to help me MacGyver my towel rack situation. Um, if you guys remember a few episodes ago, um, we installed my towel rack with alien tape and it got really warm out and I've been told that alien tape fails sometimes when it gets hot and so it came it stayed on the wall but it came away from this so we're gonna go to the hardware, hardware store. store and we're gonna get some liquid nails some, some command hooks some felt some string is that everything on yep, the list? Yep, that's what we got so far. And um, stay tuned. We'll we'll show you what we're gonna attempt to do to keep my towel rack on the wall. Um, it's also the far end of my travel trailer, which gets the most whiplash when you're going down the road. Um, so we want to make sure it's secure. So work in progress. Yep. Nothing. Stay tuned. She's gonna help me MacGyver it. Um, so stay tuned. We'll show you what we're gonna do. Hi friends, I want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsor for this episode, Entangled Biome. They make a series of CBD products including tinctures and bath bombs and other wonderful products. Um, but I have been using their products for about six years. My favorite product is their 900 milligram uh, tincture and you just put a couple drops under your tongue. I do it before bed. Um, and I am feeling so good. I can tell when I forget to take it. That's how good it is. Um, so a big thank you to Entangled Biome and the owner Dean Four is a friend of mine and I'm so happy I found them. I had been super curious about CBD for a while, but just wasn't sure, you know, what brand to trust. And Dean is basically like farmed a bottle. Um, so it's a very pure, authentic product. They also have some other fun things like a calm and focus tincture. They have a sweet tincture where you put a few drops into your water and you drink it. Um, they've got bath fizzies. I love their bath fizzies. Um, if I don't take a bath, I often will put them in a foot soak and do a foot soak. Love, love, love their product. I sleep like a baby when I do a foot soak. And then my second favorite product is their relief salve and this is a salve you can put on anywhere where it hurts I use it on my neck and my low back a lot my SI um, and this is a 300 milligram CBD and it's full spectrum CBD if you have any questions on what any of all that means you can go to entangledbiome.com and they have a great Q&A section um, to help answer your questions. So be sure to check them out and thank you Entangled Biome for supporting this channel. All right, so we're back from the hardware store. We got string, can never have enough string. 
We got liquid nails. We're going to give this a whirl. We got some little felt pads. Some three pound command hooks. And for good measure, we've got some sticky tack. So, let's see what we can MacGyver. Yep. So, this is our towel rack. Our Gorilla Glue stayed on the wall. And based on how this stuff kind of like started coming up, I'm guessing it lost the grip up here first. And then this tried to hold on as this went and fell. So what we think we're going to try, we're going to leave the Gorilla Glue. It's not Gorilla Glue. It's um, Alien Tape. We're going to leave the Alien Tape up. And then we're going to try some liquid nails to adhere this to the Alien Tape. We're going to see if that's going to maybe hold it better. Um, I don't want to go straight to anything permanent on the wall. I'm not opposed to it down the road if none of this works, um, if everything keeps failing. Um, but if we can try a non-permanent measure, you know, that's my, my priority. So then we're going to come up here with some command hooks. And then there's these two holes where you would like, I turn it around, where you would screw this to the wall if you were using traditional screws, which I can't use screws. Um, there's nothing behind here. Um, so we're going to try command hooks and then tie some string to this. And our thought is, as I'm going down the road, right back here is our biggest whiplash. So if it does come loose, we're hoping that at least that will hold it. And then we're going to put a little bit of felt on the back of here as well. So it doesn't just like thump, thump, thump and damage the wall if it, if that were to happen. Um, that's our game plan. All right. So Tracy and I have been sitting here kind of plotting out what we're going to do. And I, so liquid nails hadn't even been on my radar. So I looked it up and we've been doing a little research here on the best ways to apply it and all that. And I think I've decided to just go all the way with the liquid nails and give it a try. Um, it's permanent, but I'm okay with it being permanent. I didn't want to start with permanent. Um, I thought that this was more of a wallpaper, but it's more of like, actual vinyl like it's not a wallpaper over a wall it's it's more like vinyl um so i don't think it's gonna tear anything off so i think we're gonna be good so let's go ahead and install it go ahead i'm trying oh <laughs> needs a little bit There it is. That takes muscle. Okay, there you go. Tracy took over because I'm apparently too weak to get it out of the tube. So we're doing a zigzag like they recommend. Do we want to do a double zigzag? Yeah, I'm thinking you should. Okay. So then go the opposite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cumbersome to get out of there. Yeah. Well, it's like, um, well, it's, it's someone like frosting a cake. Yeah. Want to put the level on top of it? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got to come up. Well, I thought I'd have better news for you guys, but as you can see, 
no tell Rick. Um, we learned that, <laughs> so essentially, um, when we put the towel rack up here, we had the, the liquid nails on it and it just slid around. Like we couldn't, it wouldn't hold right away, which I guess, you know, then we're like, okay, well we have to give it that 15 minutes to start to firm up. So we gave it 15 minutes, tried it again. It still wouldn't, wouldn't adhere. We couldn't figure out how to keep it here so that it didn't just slide down the wall. Well, then we tried some alien tape. We're like, well, let's see if alien tape at least will keep it on the wall long enough. Well, it worked for about five minutes and then it fell down. So we're back to the drawing board. We're not entirely sure. Um, you know, I'm, I'm tempted to have my brother help me try and screw it in. Um, like I said, there's nothing behind. You can see, like, I can push on this. There's nothing behind this. Way over here, I do think there is some wood. Um, you know, it would be off center, but I'm okay with that. If at least one side can get into some wood, they'd have to be real short screws though. We don't have a lot of room to work with. So <laughs> I'm just kind of running out of options here. If any of you have suggestions, please put them in the comments. Um, we learned a lot today. Um, you know, I never, I'd heard of liquid nails, I guess, but never really looked into it. So now I know what that is. Um, didn't work for this project. It was just too slippery. Um, it's still like, like I'm kind of goobering it off right now. It's sort of like, um, remember when you're a kid and you use that cement glue and then it kind of, it was, was kind of the same concept. Um, so I don't know. Would sure love to get a towel rack up there though. Um, I mean, you know, I had a friend tell me, just put some command hooks and just hang all your towels. That's not the look I'm going for. Like I would much rather have them nicely rolled up and in a towel rack. Um, so it's kind of pretty to look at. Um, Cause on my door here, I do have a hook um, to hang my towels like after I use it. Um, and so that I don't really want to duplicate that on the wall, um, but I'm kind of run, <laughs> running out of ideas. And uh, Tracy was my last hope at helping me MacGyver it. So I don't know. Let me know, you guys. Drop a comment below. All right. So my friend Lori came over today. Hi. <laughs> and she does not want to be on camera. And she I knew so she used to be my neighbor when I lived in the Schmidt artist lofts and she's a bit of a MacGyver <laughs> she can make anything work out of anything and so she told me about these monkey hooks and so we're gonna see if these will work so you poke it into the wall and it goes up inside the wall and then you hang the object on here so they make a teeny tiny hole. You don't have to use a screw. But hold up to 100 pounds. Yep, they can hold up to 100 pounds. Well, I'm not sure if this one, but this one says 20 pounds on it. But they make other ones that hold up to 100. So we're gonna give these a whirl. You guys, I'm running out of ideas to hold up this dang towel rack. So let's give it a whirl, let's see if they work. All right, so we got the top one in. And then now Lori's going to put the bottom one. We're just going to go right through the hole down here. So here's her hand to show it to the camera. Yep. So she's going to poke it right through the wall. My hands are slippery, sweaty. Yeah. Just twist it back and forth. There's a, it's because the ship is, the tip of it is sharp. Mm-hmm. On purpose, like a nail. Like a, like a self, yeah, look at that. Like a self-driving screw. Now, well, the GoPro died, but I have good news. The monkey hooks did their job. They worked amazing. So let me turn this around and show you guys. It is secured to the wall and it's not going anywhere. 
it's very snug. Um, it might rattle just a little bit because this, this is the bounciest part of the RV. Um, but it is pretty snug. Um, and I can always put a little bit of sticky putty on the back side of, of the, um, on the back side of these it, just to protect the wall if it does bounce. But look at that, you guys. Got it up. So there you have it, everyone. Um, it's installed and it's been up there for a few days. So, so far so good. We'll keep you posted. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, let me know in the comments, have you ever used monkey hooks? Um, and they, they're great, not just for in the RV, but in your home. If you don't have a stud where you need to hang something, you can put it right into that sheetrock drywall um, and it will hold it for you. Um, just be sure to look on the packaging for its weight restriction. Um, th the ones I have here are 20 pounds and I've got four of them in there, two on the top, two on the bottom. Um, but they also make them all the way up to 100 pounds. So my friend Lori that helped me discover these has a very large wrought iron figurine, I guess, um, hanging on her wall. And so that's where she discovered uh, the monkey hooks. So check them out. Um, you can find them on Amazon and let me know. Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit the like button. And you guys, this is a free way you can help support the channel and be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos as I begin this RV journey. And uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. And I think I might have some updates on you for where I'm going to be headed here in another month or so. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.